It's the start of a working day in Darjeeling. But there are no cars clogging the streets, no traders opening their shops, no children rushing to school. Darjeeling is on strike. This is day 65. The people here are Nepali-speaking Gurkhas. They want to split from the Indian state of West Bengal, have their own province and protect their Himalayan culture. The Gorkha community suffers from an identity crisis. Whenever we travel anywhere, we are branded as Nepalese, but we have been living here for generations. Our demand is just one. We want Gorkha land to happen and Bengal should be divided. It was an attempt by West Bengal's government to impose the Bengali language in Darjeeling schools that sparked the strike. The state quickly backtracked, but it was too late. Heading into its ninth week, this is the longest strike for statehood there's ever been in Darjeeling, and it's taken an awful lot of resolve on behalf of the people here to get this far. But there are some who have paid with their lives. I didn't even have a shawl to cover his body, Maina Tamang tells me. She lost her son, Ria lost her father, when police opened fire at one protest. A bullet hit Ashish Tamang in the chest. My son said to me, if I manage to get back alive, then it's okay. But if I don't, then remember that I've sacrificed my life for the soil of Gorkaland. The police said they were firing at stone-throwing protesters. Those at the rally say it was peaceful. Bengal was split at partition 70 years ago. The eastern side is now in Bangladesh. The West Bengal government has told the protest leaders it's not going to allow the state to be split again. They should come up with the government, with dialogue, after uh, um, stopping all their hooliganism. Only development is the way uh, uh, for uh, uh, resolving these Darjeeling uh, issues. After more than 65 days without pay, millions of dollars in lost revenue and no obvious compromise, a resolution now seems to depend on who blinks first. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Darjeeling.